took his shoes off. My, my feet were killing me, man, running back and forth to that room. Taking so many selfies, please stop. Oh. As you keep going, taking like 10,000 selfies, and we only have 10,000 people here. So there's people getting them twice. I know it. Hey, guys, in the new Verve magazine, you see this guy's story in here, 20-year-old ambassador. Here is the cool thing about this business, that everybody that leaves here today, everybody that's watching around the world, you need to understand that the people coming across this stage, there's other people just like them that haven't been told about the Vima business yet, haven't been told about these great products yet. And you got to understand that there's, Al there's other Alex Mortons out there, there's other Brian McMullins out there, and there's other Nick Burricks out there. But I got to tell you, man, when you hear his story at 20 years old, getting rejected from college after college, but thanks to the YPR, we're able to take these people, we're able to elevate them, give them the recognition they deserve, give them the compensation they deserve. And you know what? It's all based on what they accomplish. You know, that is the big thing about this company. And so, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Nick Burick. I might might look riches, riches. I might might look riches, riches. I might niggas look riches. Hello and, and bonjour to all my, all my Frenchies who are here and who are watching on Ustream right now. Also, uh, my UK team who are, they're all staying up really late to make sure that they get every single minute of this convention. And mark my words, next year, this, there are going to be a lot of Frenchies and, and Brits running around here. Mark my words. So, a couple days ago, I got some really, really good advice on the elevator from uh, a guy named Bob Proctor. <laughs> And after, and after talking with him and getting that advice, um, I immediately knew what I wanted to talk about. Because the advice that he gave me, it wasn't necessarily what he said that made the big difference, it's how he said it. The, the way he connected with me, how he was looking at me. And that's what made it register, and that's what helped me be able to get up on stage and, and speak in front of all of you guys. And, um, you know, it takes me back to day one, you know, week one in Vima, when I didn't know much about the YPR, I didn't know much about the comp plan, but all I knew was that this was an industry that I had never heard of before, and it was the perfect one for me because I had always been someone with a lot of motivation and ambition but had no vehicle to transfer it into. So I talked to my friend uh, Matt Green, you know, during, during our soccer season, and it was before one of our games, and on the way to the game, I couldn't think about anything except for, except for this. So, dedicated and uh, you know, loyal leaders in my business, all because of the conviction, energy, and belief, guys. So, there are no secrets to this business. Any leader will, will tell you that. There are no secrets. But you can definitely take bits and pieces from everyone um, so that you can, I guess, program yourself the right way so that you can become successful yourself. So, one thing that, um, that, I, always, that, I, that I always say um, at French home events, you know, I, I, I kind of put the, the cherry on top because they do most of the explaining of the concept because I can't speak French yet. So what I do is I talk, I talk about the relationships and I talk about, uh, you know, seeing the value in the right things. Seeing the value in the relationships that you can have because when I'm standing in front of all these people in France, they cannot believe that I traveled there and I'm staying in their houses, you know, trying to, trying to learn French, and spending all this time with them. They can't believe it. And that's what raises their belief level. And your belief level is everything. In your organization, if the belief level is high, then everything else will follow. Productivity, everything will follow as long as the belief level is high. So, you know, if you're, if you're new here, it's your first time at convention, Understand that you know, I, was, I was sitting right out there myself last, last year as a diamond leader. And when I came back, when I came back, I was a different person. Make sure you allow yourself to become a different person after this because there are two types of people that will walk out of this convention. The people that will uh, lose the excitement because they're so used to the campfire effect and the people who will come back a different person and end up on stage 
the next year. So guys, please, <laughs> please, um, after this, when you go home, make sure you become the leader that your downline needs you to be. And when you're talking to people who haven't heard about this before, understand it's your, it's your duty to paint the picture for them. Because we were all prospects at one point, and we, we all needed that one person to paint that picture for us so that we could see what this is all about, so that we could see where this company is going, and so that we could see that we could do it ourselves. So, um, I want to end on one thing. You know, a lot of people, they overthink things. I've always been somebody who uh, overthinks everything. My mind is either my best friend or it's my worst enemy. But the one thing that, that helped me kind of change that uh, or make it into my best friend was shifting my perspective from my, from my head down to my heart. Because you can view your reality from those two locations, from your, from your head and from your heart. And your heart, your heart is your primary energy source of your being. And if you speak, if you speak from your heart and you see the world from your heart and you apply it to this business and you, you become the best version of yourself, you help other people do the same thing, and you, know, you never know where you could be. That's, that's what life is all about, okay? So this business is about life because you're striving to overcome your flaws. You're striving to overcome your flaws and help other people do the same thing. So with that, guys, um, you know, come say hello to me after this. I'd love to meet all you guys, and, uh, and thank you so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm.